my name is Jason Ansel, and I'm going to talk about Torch Inductor, which is a new compiler backend for PyTorch 2.0. When designing Torch Inductor, we started off with three key principles. So the first principle is that Torch Inductor is PyTorch native. And what this means is that Inductor uses very similar abstractions to uh, PyTorch Eager, which allows it to faithfully capture all the behavior uh, of PyTorch. The next key principle is Python first. So with PyTorch 2, we are uh, embracing Python. And part of that involves writing Inductor entirely in Python, which makes it much easier to hack on um, and extend. And then finally, uh, we wanted Inductor to be really general. And so we focused on breadth rather than depth early on, which means tackling the tricky operators and tricky optimizations early to ensure that our design was general and could scale. <clears throat> Inductor uses uh, three key technologies as well. The first technology is a defined by run uh, loop level IR. And what that means is that the core compiler um, IR that's done at the loop level is actually a Python callable. And to do things like code generation and uh, analysis, we actually execute the IR um, and uh, do that, which is a sort of novel trick in the compiler space, but something that's been used um, for PyTorch programs uh, for a while. Uh, next, we, we, we really wanted Inductor to support dynamic shapes and strides um, from uh, day one. And so Inductor uses SymPy, which is a symbolic math library, to reason about uh, shapes and generate code that's not uh, specialized uh, to specific input sizes. And finally, uh, we didn't want to reinvent the wheel. We wanted to reuse uh, state-of-the-art languages. And so we took inspiration from what our users would, were doing. And increasingly, we were seeing people write high-performance kernels in this new language, Triton, um, by uh, uh, Philip Tillett at OpenAI. And uh, so what we have is we have a compiler in Torch Inductor which generates uh, Triton code, which is easy to understand. You can look at the output um, and, uh, and uh, inspect what it does or even change it. Um, and on CPUs, we generate uh, C++ code. Uh, so what is Triton? Uh, Triton is, you could think of it as a better CUDA. So uh, it's a higher level language than CUDA, but also lower level than a lot of pre-existing DSLs. And it makes it really easy to write high performance code, even for tricky things like matrix multiplies that are competitive uh, with things like QDNN and KUBLAS. Next, I'm going to talk about uh, a defined by run uh, loop level IR. And so here's what the IR for a permute and an add would look like. And so we have this inner function here, which takes a list of uh, SymPy uh, expressions. That list of Sym SymPy expressions represents a coordinate um, uh, symbolically that we want to generate. And then the, in, the, the uh, body of this function will call ops.load twice and um, ops.add once. And the way you use this IR is, for example, if you wanted to write an analysis pass, you could replace this global variable ops with something which, which records the loads. Then you could run this function, and you could uh, do your analysis to figure out uh, what loads this function makes. And if you wanted to do a code generation, you could replace this ops function uh, with something that printed out Triton code, execute this, this function, and uh, do code gen. Uh, and uh, this makes it really easy to write lowerings, because if you're building composite ops that sort of take two inputs together, um, you can actually use uh, the features of the Python language um, to build your lowering. And then partway through the comp compilation process, we actually uh, use FX to trace uh, this defined by run IR, which gives us a IR that's, that's more manipulable. So here's an overview of the compiler stack. Uh, so uh, we start off with the graph that D Torch Dynamo has captured, and we use AOT Autograd and PrimTorch to uh, decompose the operator set into a much more minimal operator set, uh, around 250 operators. Uh, and AOT Autograd captures the forwards and the backwards graph, which we compile uh, independently. Next, there's uh, graph lowerings. Graph lowerings. Uh, takes this uh, primitive operator set, which is around 250 operators, 
and lowers it to inductor's loop level IR. And the inductor's loop level IR contains only around 50 operators. So we've removed a lot of the complexity and simplified um, the graph substantially. Uh, and uh, we're now operating on how to, on basically single elements of tensors rather than full tensors uh, as in the input. Uh, next, there's the scheduling phase. Scheduling is where we decide what gets fused with what and uh, do other optimizations such as memory planning and tiling. And then finally, we have code generation. And so there's two pieces to code generation. Uh, we have the back-end code generation, which either generates uh, Triton code or C++. And then we have what we call wrapper code gen. And wrapper code gen uh, is the code that stitches together the calls to many different kernels. Uh, and it basically replaces the interpreter part uh, of the compiler stack. So here's some results on GPU. I know Sumas shared these earlier, uh, but inductor generates up to 1.86 GeoMean speedup um, on large realistic uh, benchmark suites, and we're super excited about these results uh, and hope to continue to improve them in the future. Uh, we also have results on, on CPU, and these CPU results are a collaboration with the Intel PyTorch team. Uh, we see uh, up to 1.26x uh, GeoMean speedup on, uh, on, on uh, CPU inference. And uh, this uh, serves the purpose of uh, having uh, inductors support CPUs, but it also supports the purpose of making sure the inductor is general. We didn't want to build a compiler that only supported GPUs. We wanted something that could scale uh, to support a wide variety of hardware backends. And having uh, uh, C++ as well as, as Triton uh, forces that generality. So thanks so much. Uh, if you, uh, the, the code base for inductor is in the PyTorch repo. I've linked it here. And there's more information uh, in the blog post uh, as well. Thanks so much. Thank you.